Hello and welcome to another episode. In this one I'm going to do some hints and tips for this Carling kit CPC, um, what's it called, a CPC 200T box, which is like a full Android box you can plug into your car to turn your touchscreen into a full Android thing and you can have any app running on it and any streaming app or any nav app, anything you want. But it's also got some hidden features which I find quite useful. The first tip I've got is for setting up a the Apple CarPlay thing. Um, so if you press setup and then go to um, phone connection and go down to phone projection settings and then select CarPlay and then you've got the, uh, the settings button there. That tells the T box. Where, whether it's got the uh, dock bar on the left or the right. So that's how you can move it from there, which is default to there. Next tip I've got is to buy a data SIM. And I've got like a, what's it called, a 1P mobile, which is provided by EE. And that gives the T box its own internet connection. And it's, it allows you to do a lot more. As you can see, the, the docks down the left hand side instead of the right because of that Apple uh, CarPlay setting. And my next tip is if you go into settings on this version of firmware and display settings, you've got something called Split App. That allows you to set two apps up side by side in a different size or arranged split screen. So you've got different selections where you can have an even or, or three to seven or seven to three or two to three or three to two. So if I pick, um, I want maps on the left and I want car scanner on the right, wherever I can find it. Save that, and that saves it, um, a shortcut on the desk on the Windows background. Now, if I go back to the desktop, um, okay, so here's the one I've created. So that should be a 70-30 split. So you should have uh, maps on the left and cast going on the right. So I'll open it up. And there you go. And you can do that for any split screens that you want. So if I go back to the split up again, and then I'll create one for BBC Sounds. And I'll do an even split. And I'll put the weather app on the other side, if I can find it. There it is. And save that. Add to home screen. Now I've got three different shortcuts. So that should be sounds and weather split. Half and half. Ah, does not support split screen. Okay. Do it again. So I'll do BBC sounds. And I'll do the weather app from the Met Office if I can find it. I'll do three to seven. Or seven to three. See if that will work. Well, it kind of works, but the BBC Sounds app is kind of not filling the screen. 
you kind of see the idea how it works. Next tip I have is when you're running um, Android Auto or CarPlay in in its emulation mode that the this box does. So you can leave any media running, such as BBC Radio, BBC Sounds, or any media player, and then if you press that there and just press home, the music plays in the background, and as you can see. On this like desktop background you can see there's a media player so your music off your phone can play directly from Android Auto or CarPlay and then you can continue to do anything else like navigate or run car scanner There's my uh, seven to three split screen from earlier. Uh, to quickly get back to Android Auto, you just press that green button there. And then you use the white blob to come out of it and leave it running. Thank you for watching.